All right, hello everybody. So today I'm going to finish up the switch. I got my second piece in of the thing, of the uh, foot switch that I destroyed. Got it all mounted in and you're going to see this is pretty straightforward. So you'll have a, a screenshot of the kind of layout sitting here on top of us as well. So you can kind of see where all of this is going. But uh, effectively, I'm going to be connecting one side at a time. One of the things that's fairly uh, interesting to me is that consistently these center two pins on both sides are pretty much connected in a big loop, except for the green side, which was preamp boost, and the preamp boost on the green side is not connected on one side. So we'll get to that in a minute, but effectively you connect ground from here all the way through and through both sides and then all the way back around to there again. So that effectively, I'm gonna come back in a minute, I have to cut a few wires. I'm gonna wire them in and solder them to these. You've seen me doing wiring and soldering, so I need to show that, but we'll, I'm, I'm effectively gonna connect, this is pin one here. Pin one, as you can see on the thing, connects to the anode, which is the longer lead of the of this, then that connects in and it will wire, wire from that over to this guy in the uh, outermost one, although I think I might have it upside down, upside down it might be this side, but we'll we'll kind of take a minute to look at that and figure that out in a minute. So uh, they're saying the normally closed position is the one that we don't want to connect, so we'll test that. Actually, I'll take a second to test that right now. The way that works is normally closed means that the circuit is closed, not open, and will work. Uh, I've got on continuity mode. You can test normally closed mode by going like this. That's normally open, see? So this side over this other side is normally closed. Same with this one, it should be as well. But also I think it should say on the side, one, two, three, and two is always the center pin is the one that kind of is what things come in or out of. One would be the normally closed on these switches and three would be the normally open. Um, I believe, well actually, let me take a second and peek. We'll look, I'm gonna have to lift it for a second to look, but does it say something on it? I don't know if I've toggled these actually now that I think about it. I will look up the data sheet on that and then I will tell you guys as well. But effectively, yeah, um, um, the normally closed in theory is the one that when your switch is not engaged, it is connected. But we'll double check on this and we'll look it up and then we'll get back to you in a second. With the, uh, as I said, also, I'm gonna connect the wires and then we'll recut. Uh, and I'm gonna do this in a couple stages uh, just so that you can see each part being built. I'm not gonna do the whole thing and then come back in a snapshot. So, but you guys don't need to watch me cutting wires per se in this video and resoldering and things. So I'll go through that part offline. So, I'll be back in a minute. All right, if you can see here, this is just the anode lead coming off of the uh, LED. It connects in and I'm just connecting it to this lead and then I am running the lead of this, uh, uh, this capacitor through that side and then through and jumpering it and then back out. We'll also run another lead into there that's gonna come back to pin four in a minute, but I'll show you that in a second as well. But I wanted to see that so you can hopefully see how that's wired. This lead is running through both of those two leads as well as this connection. And then I will have another wire coming off of that that will come back over, we'll show you in a second. But uh, as you can see on the layout, we'll kind of, you'll see there's this jumpers between these two. These guys are gonna be what's kind of referencing to ground. It'll kind of reference around to the different ground points. Um, but, uh, that's that point of view. So hopefully that is clear and makes sense. I will also be uh, jumping this guy through to there, but I thought that was quite a bit of wrestling. So I'm going to solder that in, but I want to show it to you guys before I solder it in. I've got the second one. By the way, I just have, I, I did read up and it is 0 0.01 according to the, the picture you'll be seeing here. Uh, I did chat with the guys in the forum and a lot of them said it actually doesn't matter if it's 0 0.01 or 0 0.1. And since these are a lot less expensive than my fancy 715Ps, and this is not signal path, it's just to kind of help arcing when you're switching. I figured the, the less expensive ones will work perfectly fine in this foot switch. So there you have it. We'll come back in a minute with the rest of the progress. All right, so I've got that fully now connected. Uh, as you can see, um, I still need to finish. Of course, I'm just meaning that for the LEDs through this side, all completely connected. The next thing is going to be basically to connect ground from here to here ground from here to here, but also then to run a, uh, a specific lead. Uh, oh, I just realized also um, on the green side, I jumpered between these two, but I'm not supposed to, because that's supposed to be not connected. So I will actually be snipping that lead out in a minute here um, after I solder that connection, and then I will snip the lead out and clean that out. But effectively, um, this is the part that's not jumpered. The other two sides are jumpered, and those are done correctly. So it's just a matter now of finishing up that uh, the grounding loop that connects from pin three into here and here and then across from there as well. So we have a complete grounded circuit, but we don't want to, if you look on the preamp boost side, it looks like we basically want 
ground starting from the preamp boost side, which is green right here, going all the way over to here, through here, um, and then back around to this side again so that the switching mechanism is, you know, is what's doing kind of the finishing of the ground, it looks like. I think we'll have to look at the kind of schematic as well to cover that here in a second, but uh, there you have it. Uh, we'll be doing that last loop now. All right, there we have it, the finished product. I put a couple dabs of Gorilla Glue just around the LED surfaces themselves to kind of bond them inside of the hole so they don't pop out. But you can now look and see that's what the top side looks like. Uh, and I will uh, need to do some quick testing, but we should be able to do that when we get closer to the actual time of, uh, of the go live. But for now, what I will do is put the back back on this guy, screw in the plates, and she's done. I will potentially have to take that back off later, but look at that. Um, let's, I'll actually just do that really quickly real time. While I discuss the fact that this was uh, definitely for me a trickier part because it's very small, tedious work. A lot of this kind of stuff for me is not as easy because of my big hands. But uh, uh, dedication, perseverance, and uh, cursing a few times got me there. So uh, you guys can um, obviously give me tips of stuff that you might have done out there that might make this easier. But I, I think that all in all, the process was still satisfying to say I got it done. Uh, and I am not a, a gigantic fan of foot switches uh, just due to that little tiny work, but uh, that's one of the things I actually like about generally dealing with these turret boards and eyelet boards is that it's a little easier to kind of put the wires in where you need them to go, dealing with larger components in general uh, and whatnot. So, but that being said, there's my completed foot switch. I have a nice big cable, a 15 footer, and in theory now all I have to do to get my foot switch capability would be to snap this in here, snap the other end of this guy into the back of the amp where you've seen me wiring it up, and I have a functioning foot switch. So, ta-da! So, uh, if I get more time this week, I will be working on uh, the rest of the amp, as you guys may have followed on the live stream. Uh, you can see here I've gotten my board in. Oops, you're wrong way. My board is now in. Uh, adjusting position. Uh, and I wired in all of this back side, so now it's just a matter of me getting... Um, there's only two left here, which are these two that go to the um, uh, output tubes. So I have to kind of spend some, I still haven't re really decided yet how to wire those in. So I will have to do that eventually as well. But uh, uh, as far as that goes, though, I feel pretty good about where we're at. And sorry, I'm trying to snip a wire that I know is kind of hanging and dangling under here. There we go. All right, so I might need to lift this board screw off the screws, lift it gently and get under, because these two that I wired in yesterday, the, the actual leads themselves I'd kind of bent under to make sure that they would stay in until I soldered, and that's one of those things that leaving a, uh, something to solder at the end actually can cause a little bit of grief. But So at any rate, um, I will be possibly here in a little bit go through and start trying to connect everything else. Uh, the other good thing, though, is that while I was waiting for those parts and they arrived, if you remember, I had some discussion about using the 270 picofarad. I, I was using the wrong values. I had like 300 or so. But also, I was told, no, uh, Dumble actually likes to use ceramics. So I have myself some ceramics that are 270 picofarads exactly. So I'll be pulling these guys out and replacing them with that. But uh, I also did get myself a uh, the 0 0.01 microfarad ones that are being used. I'm trying to remember where that was. Um, but I, I'll look that up and tell you as well because I was looking and noticed that the, the Dumble himself did also use those um, I think it was somewhere in there, not necessarily the tone stack, but somewhere related to that. So, um, but thank you very much, everybody, for joining along. Tell me if you have any other questions. Like, subscribe, comments are welcome. Oh, I remember where it was. It's in the uh, Rock Jazz Switch. There's two 0 0.1 um, ceramics that will go. That's what those were for. So these two are going to be connected to the Jazz Switch. Sorry. Okay. So uh, yet again, thanks, everybody. Please uh, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll continue bringing you this kind of content. Thanks. Bye.